So, I know this is probably backwards, but this is No Rain, No Rainbows, and this is the second to last chapter in my book, and I just feel like it's very relevant right now. It's always relevant, but yeah, extra relevant right now. So get yourself comfortable and simply listen to this one page and a half of my book. I once heard this beautiful metaphor that referred to life as a flowing river and to us as the rider in the canoe. And in this metaphor, as treacherous or inconvenient the ride may seem, there's only one direction it's going to take you, downstream. You can fight against the current all you want and you can paddle until your arms go numb, but the stream will continue to flow in the direction it was intended to. When we realize that life is the river we're riding and that it's always headed downstream, we may experience some fear and attempt to resist the current with even more effort. But this will only result in exhaustion. Although there may be boulders, rapids, and waterfalls ahead, we must trust that this current will carry us along the exact path that we're meant to travel, even if that path is filled with confusion and discomfort. Our obstacles are part of our journey. They're placed there for us to learn and grow stronger from. They remind us to let go. They challenge our will, our grit, and our patience. Although extremely difficult to understand at times, our pain is here to teach us. If nothing else, it arrives to show us what it feels like to be human. We have a tendency to prefer certain feelings over others, just as many of us prefer summer over winter and the smell of sugar cookies over the smell of a skunk. But the moment we select these preferences, we shut out the other. We create resistance toward certain feelings, and we resist experiences that life has intended for us to endure. The more we resist a feeling, the more it clings to us, and the more potent it becomes. When we resist a feeling, we are grabbing our oars and paddling upstream, giving the flow of life the finger by saying, I don't trust you. Even though you've given me some beautiful things in the past and may give me many more in the future, I don't like this ride anymore. It's not that we must love every experience we have, although Ram Dass would suggest that we should, but we are better off trusting the flow of life and its winding ways. I say this because how many times have you been given an obstacle, worked through it, and then found yourself even better off on the other side? Look at any strength, wisdom, and confidence you have and ask yourself, where it came from. This is what we would call a rainbow moment. You're in the roaring rapids of life, twisting and turning downstream. You've attempted to paddle upstream, but the current is too strong. So you brace yourself and face what's ahead. The sky becomes darker and clouds roll in. Rain begins to rush down from the heavens, soaking you and your canoe. You can barely see a foot in front of you, but you persist forward because you don't have any other choice. After what seems like an eternity of struggling to hold on, finally, the water begins to calm. The clouds dissipate and the sun starts shining once again. The warmth dries your clothes and your hair. You look upward in awe of what you've just endured and your jaw drops. The most beautiful rainbow you've ever laid eyes on stretches across the horizon, perfectly framing the stream ahead and shimmering its colorful reflection off the still water you sit upon. This is your gift. You now realize that it wasn't all for nothing. In fact, it was much more than a storm to be endured. It was a portal into the next version of you. It was the escalator into the next level of life. It was your soul giving birth to its expansion. No wonder it hurt. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, just know that it is the portal into the next version of yourself. When you feel like you are being beaten down by the storms of life, 
hold tight and stay strong because your transformation is underway. It's not supposed to be comfortable. You are shedding weight, you are building strength, and you are giving birth to a new version of yourself. When it hurts and you feel like you cannot endure the storm, remember, no rain, no rainbows. So here is the opportunity for reflection, which basically these are just things to think about, okay? You can write about these in a journal, come back to this with a journal, or just think about them right now as you're listening. Take some time to reflect on the storms or struggles you have endured and the rainbows or gifts that came as a result. Feel free to use the following prompts to guide you. What is the most recent storm that you have endured? This can be of any caliber and may have taken any form. So what was the most recent struggle that you endured, that you got through? Small, medium, large, difficult conversation, um, a loss, uh, uncertainty, and you endured it. You overcame it, or at least you got through it. What did it feel like to be in that storm? What emotions came up while you were in it? Or maybe while you're in it right now? How did you get through the experience? What tools helped you? So the last thing that you got through, whatever obstacle you overcame, whether it was earlier this year or last year or two years ago, um, when you were faced with an obstacle, when you were faced with uncomfortable, icky feelings, how did you get through that? What tools helped you? Was it uh, leaning on a friend? Was it exercise? Was it meditation? Was it journaling? Um, what was it that got you through? How did you feel once you were on the other side of that difficult experience? So this is really important, you guys, because a lot of times we just keep moving on to the next thing and we forget our strengths. We forget that we've overcome 100% of our most difficult days, right? Every single obstacle that you have overcome has brought you to be who you are today. And we have to consciously, intentionally look at that and go, oh wow, yeah, I did overcome that. I did get through that. Even if it was messy and not perfect, you can at least go back and look, okay, how did you get through that last hard thing? What did you do? Um, did you just cry it out? Maybe that was helpful. Did you journal it out? Did you talk it out? Did you just sit in your feelings? Did you, maybe you didn't get through it that well. Maybe you'd like to um, learn from past ways of coping, right? Maybe you leaned on things you, you necessarily um, don't want to moving forward. What gifts, if any, can I extract from that experience? What gifts could you extract from your last difficult experience that you um, endured or overcame? The more storms you can sort through and point out the rainbows, the better. This is all about training your mind to view obstacles and discomfort as opportunities for growth, as opposed to reasons for self-pity or victimhood. And here's a quote by Gilbert K. Chesterton. And when it rains on your parade, look up rather than down. Without the rain, there would be no rainbow. So that was um, a micro chapter from my book, Coming Clean, called Ro No Rain, No Rainbows. And I just felt like it was really relevant today um, and during this time because I know uh, a lot of you are having a tough time, but you have overcome so much. So don't forget that. And not only have you overcome it, it it, ne it didn't happen necessarily for a reason, but you could look back and find a reason for everything happening. And you can find any strength you have, any wisdom you have, any courage you have, came from the past obstacles that you have overcome, that you have endured. So you have to, if you wanna feel better, or if you want to um, extract everything you can from this difficult experience, then you've gotta look at it through that lens of, okay, this is a storm I'm enduring so that I can get to the other side and birth a new version of myself. And that's really the only thing that serves us. And victimhood, victimhood does not, regardless of how valid it is. Your feelings are valid. Feel those feelings, um, but process them, express them, honor them, and then see what you can use this for, right? Use this experience.